Hello and welcome to building a Linux image for the Zinc 7000 All Programmable SoC using Device Tree. Today we'll focus on how to acquire the Xilinx Linux kernel source, configure it, and build both the kernel and Device Tree. Finally, we'll run the new kernel on the ZC702 board. The kernel is based on the 3.0 Linux kernel from kernel.org, together with Xilinx editions of BSP and drivers. It is regularly updated to stay close to the latest version from kernel.org. In general, the Xilinx Linux kernel for Zinc follows normal ARM Linux processes for building and running. Xilinx is striving to push code from the Xilinx JIT server to the open source community, such as kernel.org, uBoot, etc. Xilinx makes every effort to ensure that the Xilinx JIT servers contain the latest code base and it is recommended for customer use. A minimal BSP for Zinc has been pushed to the mainline kernel.org and is available there. At this time, Xilinx only supports Linux from the Xilinx JIT server. The kernel can be downloaded from the Xilinx JIT repository using the command as illustrated. Building the Linux kernel is only supported from a Linux-based host and unfortunately is not supported on the Windows OS. The kernel must be configured to build the Xilinx BSP and drivers into the kernel. Configure the kernel for the ZC702 hardware using the command line shown here. Open the Xilinx Zinc Dconfig file to view the different configuration settings. This example shows the debug symbols and profiling enabled. To build uBoot, please refer to the link shown here. Then set the uBoot tool path before compiling the kernel. SDK's bootgen tool will create the boot bin image using the fsbl.elf and uBoot image. The build image process creates files named image, zimage, and uimage located in the arc slash arm slash boot directory of the kernel tree. The image file is a non-compressed kernel image. The zimage file is a compressed kernel image which will uncompress itself when it starts. The uimage file is a kernel image wrapped in a uBoot MK image wrapper such that the boot m command in the uBoot can be used. This is why we need to add uBoot slash tools to the path before compiling Linux. The device tree is created using a process by which the Linux kernel initializes itself based on the hardware platform. The device tree allows a single kernel image to run on multiple hardware platforms. A device tree file named star.dts is a text file that describes the hardware platform. It is compiled into a device tree blob with the extension .dtb, which is loaded into memory before the Linux kernel is started. The Linux kernel then uses that device tree blob to initialize itself at runtime. The device tree is supported and required for the Xilinx ARM kernel. Previous to Linux kernel 3.0, most ARM Linux kernel did not support device tree and were based on platform data. The device tree compiler is located in the Linux kernel tree in the script slash DTC directory. Note that the kernel needs to be built with the device tree turned on in the kernel configuration for the device tree compiler DTC binary to be present in the script slash DTC slash DTC directory. The device file DTS can be compiled using the following command. Assuming, however, this is executed from the root directory of a Linux kernel tree. The predefined device tree sources are available in the Linux kernel tree in the following directory, arc slash arm slash boot slash DTS of the kernel tree. For the ZC702 board, it is named as zinc-zc702.dts. You can also find the Z board device tree here. The RAM disk support can be extracted from the latest build. Several files are required to boot Linux and must be copied to the FAT formatted SD card. Boot.bin, devicetree.dtb, uramdisk.image.gz, and uimage. Once copied, insert the SD card into an unpowered ZC702 board. Ensure that the jumpers are properly configured to boot from the SD card. Then apply power. You will be able to see the Linux booting on the ZC702 board on your terminal provided that Remote System Explorer is enabled and connected via Ethernet. Constructing a custom Linux kernel is not that difficult. First, you must download the Xilinx Linux kernel source code for Zinc from the JIT repository. 
Next, the kernel can be configured using the make menu config command. Once configured, the kernel is built using the make arc command. When this process completes, the necessary files are then copied to an SD card, which is then used to boot the ZC702 board, and the boot process can be monitored using the Ethernet connection. Thank you for watching, and as always, please check back at xilinx.com slash training slash zinc for additional videos on zinc.